For today's demonstration, we have created Miller's signature album from JPEG files created in Adobe Photoshop. Here's the opening screen to the Designer Plus software. To begin, click the Create a New Project button. Next, double click the Miller's signature album icon. From this window, we will choose the format for our album. We can choose a square, portrait, or landscape formats. We can also select this option to create an album box to store the finished album inside of. And finally, we can select this icon to have the Miller's art department lay out the album for us. For this option, we will send Miller's the photos, cover choice, and album specifications to design the album for us. Once the layout is complete, we will receive an email containing an Adobe Acrobat file for our review to approve or make changes to the proposed layout. For more details, visit the Miller's website and view the Designer Plus Custom Album Design Service Overview movie. For today, we will create a Miller's signature album in the landscape format. Double click this icon. Next, choose the size of album to create. Select a 9x6, 10x8, 12x8, or a 15x10 sized album. In addition, we'll select the cover as a custom image, an acrylic or metal cover, a leather or fabric cover, as well as the page thickness of the finished album. For this demonstration, we'll create a 10x8 custom image album with a thick page. Double click here. At this point, the software is prompting to use the wizard option to lay out our album. We will choose to skip the wizard for this demonstration. And finally, input a name for our project, then click Create. Here is the main window where our task of designing the album will take place. Along the top center, we have the cover and interior pages for the album. Go to the Pictures column along the left side. Click the plus sign button and navigate to the location of the photos we created in Photoshop. As we scroll through the photos, there are 50 JPEG files or 50 pages we'll need in our album layout. To add more pages to the current list, go to the Page menu and click Add. Pages are added to the layout in multiples of 10 pages or 5 two-page spreads. Please note, as pages are added, the width of the album's spine will increase. Be certain to check the cover image to make sure it will accommodate the additional pages. Click OK. 10 pages or 5 two-page spreads have been added to our layout. Repeat until the number of pages needed have been added. Before placing the JPEG files in our album, we must first add a picture box to each page. To add a picture box, go to the Insert menu and select Picture Box. Or, simply click this icon on the toolbar. A picture box is added to our cover. However, as we can see, the cover image was designed to fill the front and back of the album cover. Right-click on the picture box, Control-click if using an Apple mouse, choose a Fit option, then fit the page. Now the picture box spans both the front and back of the cover. To add picture boxes to the interior pages of the album, we will repeat the same steps. Click on page 1 and 2, click the picture box icon, then right click on the picture box, choose fit, then fit the spread. Continue this process until all the interior pages of the layout have a picture box. A quicker method is to copy and paste the picture box from one spread to another. Click on the picture box to select it. From the edit menu, Choose Edit, then Copy, or use the keyboard shortcuts as noted. Go to the next empty spread. From the Edit menu, choose Paste. The picture box we copied has been pasted onto the two-page spread. Repeat the copy and paste so each spread is filled with a picture box. Now all the pages contain a picture box. Scroll to the cover page of our layout. Let's now add photos to each picture box. To add photos to each spread, one option is to drag and drop the photos into each picture box in the layout. Or, go to the toolbar and click the Auto Flow icon. When clicked, 
Autoflow will automatically add a photo to each spread in our layout. Once the photos have been added, go to the file menu and click Save to save our album design. To upload and order the album, go to the file menu and select Order. Or click the shopping cart icon here. We can add the order to our shopping cart and upload it later with other items we may create. Click the Order Now button to begin uploading the order immediately. As we continue to build albums with photos created in Photoshop, we can use pre-designed layouts to improve our workflow. Go to the File menu and close this project. Here's the opening window once again. To create a pre-designed layout, we would repeat the steps noted above, but we would not add any photos to the pages. Rather, we would simply save the album layout and have a template to start with for our next album. Let's see how this might work for laying out an album with photos created in Photoshop. Click the Open an Existing Project button. From this window is a list of project templates I have created to use as a starting point for a new album. Select a project template for the size and type of album we want to create. Click the Duplicate Project button and input a new name for the album we are about to create. For this example, we will create an album for the Wilson Wedding and click OK. With the Wilson Wedding Project highlighted, click the Open button. Here's a 50 page album layout with the picture boxes already in place on each page. As before, load our JPEG files into the program, click the Autoflow button, and the files are added to our layout for us. As always, view the album cover to be certain the cover image will accommodate the spine width of the album. Go to the File menu, click Save, then upload the order. By using templates, we can improve our workflow using the Designer Plus software.